Derby Day. Jamie Carr is back. J-Mac, well, he never left. There was a cracking ride in the Golden Eagle, but I found a few others. And the Melbourne Cup, who can't win? And how to ride the perfect race. This is Performance Review with the Boss. James McDonald, is he still the world's best jockey? You bet, and here's why. On the left side is the Ladbrokes Cox Plate from last week, pushing Romantic Warrior over the line in a photo finish. On the right side is Saturday's Derby, almost identical. The only reason these two horses won is J Max's uncanny ability to have such impeccable timing. He knows exactly where the line is and he knows exactly the right moment to push that horse's head down. I've never seen anything like it. Jamie Carr, her form hasn't been that great, but form is temporary and class is forever. And what a way to silence her critics. Her two group victories on Derby Day were outstanding. She's on more felons in the Melbourne Cup. It has 50 and a half kilos and drawn 24. But beware if you think she can't win. Damien Oliver, it was an absolute privilege to be there on Derby Day to watch him weave his magic and do what he does best. He's on an outsider in this year's Melbourne Cup, Alan Kerr, but you would never discount him because Ollie is the GOAT. The ride of the day goes to the Irishman, Declan Bates, on Pride of Jenny in the Empire Rose. Mate, you showed the biggest set of kahunas I've seen for so long. It was a well-executed plan to go out very fast and break up the field and hang on for an amazing victory. And two honourable mentions from Rose Hill. Craig Williams in the Giga Kick on Bella Nipotina and Dylan Gibbons. This 22-year-old has shown maturity beyond his years. How to ride the perfect race in the Melbourne Cup. If you Jai McNeil on Serpentine drawn barrier one, you must hold your spot. There's so much pressure from the outside runners. If you draw in the middle like Holly Doyle on Future History, you must get a clean break and be leading by the time you get to the winning post the first time. And if you're drawn 23 like Mickey D on Cleveland, you must have a clear plan in your head and execute it. Who can't win this year's Melbourne Cup? I'm tipping against two former winners, Val Claire and Gold Trip. Val is going okay, but I think he's past his best. And Gold Trip with 58 and a half kilos is too much. As for Boss's choice, if I was still riding, I'd want to be on Vauban. All the reports from Europe say that he is a proper superstar and I cannot wait to see this horse in the flesh. All the best punters and go Ollie! Imagine what you could be buying instead. For free and confidential support, call the number on the screen or visit the website.